Good morning, this is Paul Moffat, Communication Workers Union, Eastern Regional Secretary. I'd like to join me today in celebrating the CWHA's 25th anniversary. The fantastic work the CWH has done over the last 25 years, delivering smiles and aid to needy children and their families across all the projects that they've been involved in over the past 25 years. I'd just like to share with you why I got involved originally. I got involved originally because I actually saw the poverty. I saw the disadvantaged children, whether they were disabled, whether they were children suffering from autism, or whether they were just orphans, where they'd just been left by the state, and for whatever reason their families couldn't look after them. It was something that touched my heart, and still touches my heart today. And the very little I've done to provide those smiles, and to provide aid to the children, to the disabled, and those with autism or disabilities, has been immense. It's brought me great pleasure, it's brought me great satisfaction, and something I will continue to do. Not only for the children, but also to see the joy on the families' faces when they actually realise there are people like us out there who are willing to help, who are willing to make sacrifices, however small they are, to bring smiles and to bring aid to those people. I got involved in Lithuania, as I said, on many projects. I then moved across to Moldova, where I've been several times as well. In Lithuania, it was orphanage where they were run by the state. Then that was stopped. And they, were, and they were moved and transitioned into people's homes, which was a much better environment for those children. We then went to Moldova, to somewhere called the Phoenix Centre, where disability and children with disabilities were looked after, where they weren't in the communities before. And we've done a lot of outreach work in the communities for those disabled living at home and their families that have been disadvantaged. Recently, I was out there and moved into the Autism Hope Centre, where 40 mums had run an Autism Hope Centre with no help from the state, the local mayor, the mayor of the city um, or any funding. So we went out there and funded the autism centre, put furniture in when we first went, they didn't have a chair to sit on. Now it's a fully funded, fully kitted out autism centre where those children can learn and grow their skills that they have, the many skills they have and learn social interaction. I'd just like to give you a little brief of how you can get involved and how you can take part in the CWHA's fantastic work. There are several ways. You can get sponsored by doing a challenge, whether that's a run, cakes, coffee mornings, etc., etc., and raise the money and donate that directly to the CWHA, and funds will be needed to carry on our project work. You could simply just make a donation, whether that's from your business, whether that's from you personally, straight to the um, CWHA Pay PayPal Giving Fund page, and make a simple small donation, no matter how small or how great that may be. And there's another reason, if you're a member of the CWHA, you could get involved and get your branch involved. If the whole branch is involved in the CWHA movement and the work that we do, then clearly that's going to make a huge difference to have branches annual affiliated, to have branches donating to convoys and have branches sending members like yourself, whether you're a rep, whether you're an officer, whether you're a lay member of the branch, to get involved in the convoys and take part in the convoys. And I trust me, I can assure you they will be life changing convoys on how you your outlook on different countries and how the different countries are run. But your outlook and the outreach you do to those children with disabilities that are disadvantaged or the families that don't have a lot to offer their children in terms of finance. Uh, that we can help them with. It could be simple, something as simple as a bed, it could be something as a cupboard, it could be just toys, it could be learning toys, etc, etc. You could also join a convoy. We tried to run two convoys here, obviously with COVID-19 it's not been possible, usually one in the May of each year and one in the September, with a convoy leader with four to six sprinter vans going to different places. Um, usually now it's Moldova and the Phoenix Centre, but I said in the past it's been um, Lithuania but there's also a project in Africa as well for a school out there so in closing I'd just like to say please get involved it's so rewarding it's rewarding for you personally it's rewarding for me personally I encourage everyone in the eastern region to think about the CWHA and think about getting involved in it but more importantly people who watch this video and people across the whole of the CWU um, membership just to look at getting involved so once again, congratulations on the 25 years the CWHA. It's in my heart. Let's hope for another 25 years, uh, another 25 wonderful years where we can help different projects around the world and deliver that smile and deliver that aid and that hope to families. Thank you.